Hey folks, thanks for hanging out again. I am on uh, one of my walks. I mean, I don't know what I was gonna say in that blank moment, uh, in that blank moment. It's not like I was trying to keep from cussing. All right, so uh, welcome as always. Thanks for being here, uh, for hanging out. Uh, our, our heart is to give you some takeaways, maybe save you a little money in the old training development world, and then also promote ourselves uh, without any uh, inhibition whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> a little self-promotion. No, want to help as much as we can. So, hey, we're glad you're here. As always, if you um, like what you're hearing, boop, put that for me. I just did the Walmart sound. Oh my goodness, when you scan things, boop. All right, if you like that, uh, like it, the, the video for us, comment. Of course, we'd love for you to subscribe. If you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Uh, this is our final five stop it and presentations. I keep saying it that way. Old Bob Newhart, the great comedian, stop it. So five stop it and presentation. This is number five, and that is uh, boring is a choice. That's one of my copyrighted phrases. Let me tell you the story. Uh, I was with a banking organization and uh, having a great day. Two day presentations training, just having a blast. And about halfway through day one, uh, I, wanted, I think he was like a mid level executive, if I remember right. He was uh, getting done presenting, and he looks up at me and he goes, You know, Jer, it's, it's, it's not me that's boring. My information is boring. To which out of my big old West Virginia mouth came flying, It's not the information that's boring us. You ever say something and the moment it comes flying out, you're like, uh, oh, snap. Well, he looked right up because he realized I had just called him boring. And I looked right up because I realized I had just called him boring. And uh, uh, he started to laugh. I started to laugh, but for different reasons. And uh, he just laughed. He said, okay, no, he said, that's fair. I was like, yeah, good. I'm glad you think that way. So I looked at him and I said the following words. First time I ever said it. I said, look, man, boring is a choice. Boring is a choice. Um, copyrighted. Every time you use it, give me a quarter. Boring is a choice. All right, why do we make the choice to be boring in our presentations? I'm glad you asked. I think there's a lot of reasons. Um, number one, by the way, if you watch the video on ums, you just heard one, right? Uh, number one, I think we make the boring choice because it's safe. I really do. I think sometimes we would rather be boring and stay in our little shell uh, and not risk anything than to maybe step out and say something and the mid-level exec or the C-level person looks at us like, what? So we choose to be boring because it's safer. Everyone else is boring, right? So I'll be boring too. Not that you're boring, right? With the exception of people watching this. But uh, they're boring. They were boring. You're sitting in this meeting with 10 presentations. So I'll be boring too. We make the choice because it's safe. That's a mistake. If you think know anything which you do about business or anything of that nature entrepreneurs tend to step out and take risks i mean let's do it different let's think about this different your presentation when you make the choice to be boring yeah you play it safe but it's not different than any of the other presentations that those people have probably heard so stop playing it safe i think the other reason that we make the choice to be boring uh, another reason it seems smarter at times. Sometimes people think, well, if I'm engaging, if I, if I do crack a, a smile huh, or joke or something like that, then it might feel superficial or it may lack intelligence. Um, <clears throat> here's a side note. Intelligent people are people too. You're welcome. Uh, intelligent people like to laugh. They like to have fun. They like to be engaged. And if you make the choice to be boring because you think it sounds smarter, just know you sound like the dude from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You're not sounding smarter. You're just sounding um, boring. So boring is a choice sometimes we make because we want to play it safe or we think it sounds smarter. I think also, really another reason, I just saw this as I'm walking. I think sometimes people make the choice to be boring because they don't even know they're making the choice. They think to themselves, well, I'll never be a presenter or a communicator like, you know, fill in the blank. You could list people. And so since I won't be there, uh, I'll just, I'll just be, you know, give out the information. And I think we say, well, we're just giving out information. Therefore, it doesn't need to be engaging. Well, I'll tell you something. If your information is that unimportant, would you stop wasting our time? How's that for honest? 
If you think the information is that unimportant, then why are you even doing a presentation? I think sometimes the choice is made because we don't know there's another way. Or you don't, maybe. So what do we do? <clears throat> you ready? Stop it. <laughs> Stop being boring for crying out loud. Here's a tip. This will take some work. Especially if you've been in a large corporate setting where everything is 22 PowerPoints, it's got to be this, it's got to be that. Or even a lot of times in the military or folks who serve us honorably in the military, there are certain formats they have to follow. So if that's been ingrained in you, then it's going to take some time. So let me give you a quick hit on how you can begin to think about engaging people. I want you tonight uh, or today, when you go to lunch, go to dinner, or talk with people you like <laughs> or people you love, um, listen to how you say things. Listen to how you tell the story about that, you know, what's his name, one of the TCP reports. Uh, welcome. So talk, listen to how you tell the stories of your day or of the meeting. Listen to how you engage. I guarantee it, you're not flatlining as far as boredom. When you talk about the things that you're passionate about, I guarantee you're not flatlining in boredom. You're saying, oh, today was an awesome day, you know, Harold was gone, nobody likes Harold anyway, you know, you're, you're going to be engaging. So listen to how you do that in your everyday life. Then the second thing you can actually do is start recording yourself in your everyday life. <laughs> like a vlog, I guess. But maybe it's something you're not throwing on YouTube, but it could be something that you're having a conversation with someone and you're like, hey, I just want to record this. And in about 30 seconds after you forget that you're recording, that's when you like the old van. That's squirrel. That's when you actually want to listen to the video. So let me say it again since the van distracted me. There's the wind blowing. Sorry. So record yourself in your everyday life. Make sure you tell people you're doing it right. After you forget that you're recording, that's when you want to listen to the video. 30 seconds, one minute into your recording, listen to how you're saying things. Find old recordings that you've made from the holidays on your phone or from a get together. Listen to how you're talking. Now, obviously if you're cheering and screaming and yelling, you don't want to do that in every presentation. Notice how I said in every presentation, like you should you know, go into a corporate meeting yelling, cheering, and screaming. But listen to how you communicate every day. I'm telling you, you'll start to hear yourself being engaging and then simply start applying that, applying that to how you present. Now I do some training, I'm not gonna go into it now because a lot of times people say, look, Jer, Mr. Training Dude, um, my information is boring. And talking about football or, or uh, cooking or a hobby is a whole lot more exciting. Well, you have to do a transfer of energy. I won't go into that now. But I've had to give some boring talks that would have been boring, but I transfer the energy uh, from what I love to talk about like this to a boring topic like, let's say, time management. Um, you transfer energy. Maybe sometime we can talk about how to do that. All right. Well, look. Isn't that beautiful? I am so blessed. Look at that. It's not my property, but it is beautiful, isn't it? All right. I'm out. <laughs>